Hey guys, so common problem I have in the real seat of the Tomcat is I go through my whole cold start procedure of setting my waypoints and doing my alignment, and then when I'm done I go to turn on NavGrid, but for whatever reason it won't set the coordinates of YY, or the reference point. And so this is a really quick video just to show you if you're having the same problem, why that is. The shorter answer is, it's because after you're finished entering your waypoints, the last waypoint you have entered will still be hooked on the TID, and entering NavGrid coordinates will not work, if you have another waypoint hooked. So all you have to do is just half action on your hand control unit somewhere in blank space and just let go. And that should unhook whatever waypoint you had entered last and then you'll be able to enter NavGrid as normal. So let's take a look at what that looks like. We'll just get our head tracking here in a decent spot. So we can pull up our, our uh, knee board here and that'll give us our own AC positions on aircraft. So we flip the cap over to nav, own AC, clear lat north, and then enter in 41536, clear long east, and then 41404. We have an elevation, so four for altitude, six six enter. And then we have a mag bar, so we hit mag bar down here, and then heading and 6.8. And there we go, there's our own aircraft. So then we can go through and we could start our alignment now and wait for that, but we don't need to align, we're not going anywhere today. But we're going to enter in waypoints 1, 2, and 3, which we have on our knee board as well, because they're set up in the mission editor. So we can go waypoint 1, latitude north, 41558. And 41517. There's waypoint one right in front of us. Waypoint two, 42135. And 43577. And then waypoint three. So waypoint two isn't visible in front of us anyway. But waypoint three is then uh, 42108. And 42291. So there's one and three right in front of us. So now if I wanted to set up nav grid at waypoint one, what I normally end up doing is I'll flip over to data link on the cap, put my TID mode into ground stab, and then turn on nav grid. Now you'll get this screen, and what should happen is this should move to whatever reference point I set when I enter coordinates. So I'm going to enter in my coordinates again for waypoint 1. So 41558 and 41517. Enter. And the screen didn't change. And this happens all the time. I get to this point and I realize this hasn't worked. I haven't turned this on properly and I forget why. If you flip back now, it actually becomes pretty obvious. What I've ended up doing is I've moved waypoint 3 on top of waypoint 1 because it was hooked on the TID. And if I flip back to TAC data, you'll see that waypoint 3 is still selected. So we need to unselect waypoint 3 before we can set the reference point for NavGrid. So let's put waypoint 3 back where it's supposed to go. That's 42108. And 42291. So there's waypoint 3 back where it's supposed to be. So now what we'll do is half action on the HCU and just let go over nothingness, and there, now it's deselected. So now we should be able to flip the data link, we've got NavGrid on, go to ground stab, and now we should be able to enter in our YY coordinates, which I wanted at waypoint one. So we'll enter in north 41558, and then longitude east 41517. There, and then if I come back out, now I have my distance, you can see on the TID, 250 for somewhere in the zero to 50 range from bulls. But yeah, so that's about it for uh, turning on NavGrid. If you're running into that issue where trying to set YY doesn't do anything, it's because you still have one of your other waypoints hooked from entering it during your startup process. And that's one of the things that you can do is you can move waypoints around just by hooking and dropping them. But 
So that's exactly what's going on. Is you've got waypoint 3 hooked, and you're trying to enter YY, but all it's doing is moving the last waypoint you entered. So remember, half action, unhook your waypoint, and you should be good.